Sulfur is one of the most abundant uh, elements in the universe, especially in the rocky planets like the planet Earth. Uh, Io, the satellite of Jupiter, has actually most of the volcanoes they erupt lava in the form of the sulfur. In the Earth, we have also this element a lot. It erupts with the magma when it comes to the surface as lava. A gas produced will be released to the environment. It can be harmful if it is in high concentrations. Most of it actually uh, sublimates and uh, then goes back to the form of the, you know, the solid. The recent eruption in the Reckonis Peninsula in the Sundoka craters have created some levels of gas. As you can see in the image, there is uh, plenty of vapor coming from this. Uh, many vents now that are erupting. Uh, the last count I had was around nine vents now, now still active. But there is a, a risk for the gas pollution in the Reckonis Peninsula. And actually the Icelandic Meteorological Office published this map uh, talking about the gas pollution tonight and tomorrow in some parts of in the north of the Reckonis Peninsula. In the coming uh, days, it will be more. In Thursday to Friday, it will clear up. But again, on Friday, we will have lots of uh, sulfur dioxide, which actually this part, the Saturday one, is not from the Iceland. It's from the Kamchatka Peninsula, where we have most of the active volcanoes at this stage in the planet Earth. There are recommendations uh, how to deal with this. One of them is just done to be outside. Second is that if you have to, uh, you know, go outside, try to breathe with your nose because in your nose there are bacteria which actually, uh, you know, neutralize the sulfur dioxide in the air. If you breathe with the, you know, through your mouth, probably you will burn some part of it. You will feel the sensation of that. That's not burning in the sense of the, you know, burning. But it is also advisable to keep the children indoors if it is possible during this period, not to do much activities outdoors if, if that is possible.